So we are here with Mahari Takai, the president of Men's Fashion Week Dallas. And before we get into Men's Fashion Week Dallas, let me ask you, where are you from? I'm originally from Dallas. Um, I've been here again for two years now. I originally w was born here. I moved to New York City. I lived there for eight years and then moved back. Uh, my career took me there and now my future brings me back. So. And I do understand that this is the first year for Men's Fashion Week Dallas, correct? This is the first year for Men's Fashion Week Dallas. We've done fashion shows in the past, but this standard and this complexity of what this event is, is much different from anything we've seen here. Oh, we are all excited. And let me ask you, what inspired you? I pull inspiration from everything. I pull inspiration from a leaf falling from a tree. As an artist, at the end of the day, you're finding inspiration in the small things, and those small things help to elevate you to another level in life. I'm always searching for the simple but greatest things, and I found this to be an element of something that inspired me behind what I've gone through, what I've been through, the challenges that I've faced in life, and then those other people who follow in my footsteps. Um, I felt like this could be a great place to showcase the growth, and I feel like anyone who follows in our footsteps will, will know the right way to go from here. And I think it's an amazing thing that you're doing because whenever most people think of fashion in Dallas, you more so think about the women, but we've never seen the men's fashion um, being put on the spotlight in Dallas, so I think it's amazing. Um, and with that being said, what is Men's Fashion Week Dallas? When I think of Men's Fashion Week, I think of all those people who are pushed under the rug. I think about those people who don't get what they deserve. They don't get the chest dudes. When I attend fashion shows, and not even just in Dallas, but most of the time the male models are kind of pushed to the back and they either, we have no more clothes for you or you have to walk with no shirt, you know? And I feel like a lot of these men take this serious. This is a branding thing. Them. This is uh, this is a dream. This is something that they lived for. This is something that they worked hard to gain. And for them to do so much at this moment, and, and someone just to say, "I don't have something for you," closes that door for them a little bit more, dims that light for them and their vision a little bit more. So, men's fashion is, I guess we can call it the restore. Men's fashion is the hope. Men's fashion week is the new epitome of innovation. We've merged technology. We brought in those people who people said no to. I'm producing it, which means it's a re it's a redo for me. Um, so it's a rebirth for everyone. It's a rebirth for every brand that has not gotten what it deserved. And on this platform, they definitely will because all eyes are watching and every ear is listening. So this is going to be a great event, and everything that this event epitomizes shows growth in our city, shows growth in our designers, and most of all, shows growth in our that was your mission? I would say that was our mission, but our innovation is the mission. The merging together the technology format. I say it's two things that every man goes through in his lifetime. Getting a brand new suit and getting your favorite piece of technology. <laughs> when you were a young kid, that first piece of technology for you was a train. You got that first train on Christmas Day and you ran that booger around the track. <laughs> that moment, something about that moment was just electrifying. And the same thing happens when you put on a suit. When you see yourself for the first time in the suit, you are walking into a new you. You step into a new flesh. It's almost like developing a new skin. So for every man that puts on a new suit, this is the feeling. And that's why I want everyone to feel that man's fashion week Dallas. Now with that being said, um, what do you want people to get out of this? What, I, what would I like to see people get out of it? I want them to have fun. <laughs> I want them to enjoy themselves. I want, I want this to be an experience. I want you to feel nostalgia. I want you to feel like a kid again. I want people to feel happy and free and elevated. This is an event where everyone comes together is definitely going to showcase that. As a matter of fact, we're teaming together with Fab Dallas and Fab Dallas Magazine and we're going to do their Lucille Ball event on Saturday, but nobody knows yet. So we're pushing that out in this preview. We're showing people how we can merge great events in this city. People can do partnerships and not destroy one another or destroy the branding of that company, but we can just merge together and create great branding throughout the city and people will enjoy 
enjoy what you do as long as it's great work. And great work always follows a great name. Of course. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we let you go, I definitely have to ask you, who is your celebrity fashion icon, if you do have one, as far as I go? Celebrity fashion icon. That's one of those questions, right? Okay, so I feel like as a man, we pull inspiration from everywhere. But nowadays, we don't even have to look at celebrities to find, you know, cultural things or fashion things. We can kind of cut on Instagram, open up your Instagram page and scroll down. You kind of pull inspiration from everywhere. I've seen people just in the street, you know, and those have been like my go-to things. I'm like, all right, that's something I want to reproduce or I want to see. So I pull my inspiration, I guess, not from a celebrity because a celebrity is, is really someone who is told what to put on most of the time. Um, so I couldn't use inspiration from them, but mine are those street designers, you know, those streetwear folk who just put on something and go out the door and they still look great. Those are some of the things that used to inspire me, especially walking around New York City. It's the boho chic thing was the thing then, you know, where you just throw on a big overcoat and walk out the door and you look great. I love that kind of concept. So I love mixing and mixing and matching fashion concepts. So, so the people inspire you. Absolutely, the people are my inspiration. Now, thank you so much, Mari Takai, for um, speaking to us. Uh, coming out, we definitely do have Dallas looking out for men's fashion in Dallas. Absolutely. Uh, so make sure you join us. March 23rd through the 28th. On March 28th, we'll be with Fab Dallas and we're going to be taking over the Lucille Ball Fashion Show. Stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you.